to my channel my name is Rachel Mayo your personal astrologer I am going to be discussing synastry relationship astrology I'm going to be focusing on asteroid Juno the marriage asteroid I'm also going to tell you about how this asteroid changed my life when I met my fated romantic partner and the transits I was having the day I met him Juno is the ultimate relationship asteroid it is a romance and marriage asteroid so context to this asteroid in synastry or the composite chart indicates a fated relationship that could be long-term and possibly lead to marriage this asteroid is so important in synastry because it indicates what you look for in an ideal relationship in an ideal mate an, an ideal spouse Juno contacts in synastry can reveal if a relationship would turn into marriage. According to Roman mythology, Juno was Jupiter's wife. He cheated on her and she still stayed with him and fulfilled her traditional duties. Juno is looked upon as the eve of astrology, the first wife. So asteroid Juno is seen as the wife and asteroid Lilith is seen as the mistress the rebellious one but we're not going to talk about Lilith in this video we're discussing we're going to concentrate on Juno aspects so Juno stayed faithful to Jupiter despite his indiscretions and Lilith was the rebellious one who would not allow her man to cross her so I guess if you want your marriage to last you should opt for Juno the Juno partner and not the Lilith partner and hopefully you won't be like Jupiter and cheat on your Juno so my own theory about the mythology of Jupiter and Juno is that uh, perhaps Jupiter is the lord of abundance, exuberance and exaggeration. Perhaps Jupiter in a past life was excessive, enjoying all the pleasures of life. And of course, Juno, his wife, stayed faithful to him and still performed her wifely duties. So perhaps, Jun so perhaps Jupiter in this lifetime recognizes that Juno is the woman who was loyal and faith who was loyal faithful to him and still performed all her wifely duties so maybe Jupiter has a debt to pay to Juno and this is why Jupiter will stay faithful and take care of Juno in this lifetime it does feel very fated when you meet this person that has contacts to your Juno or your other personal planets like your Venus and your moon Juno conjunct Jupiter, fantastic aspect. Juno conjunct Venus, beautiful aspect. Juno conjunct Moon, very emotional aspect. So look out for this aspect in your synastry and make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel. You want to know when I you want to know when I upload another video. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. So the placement of Juno in your own natal birth chart indicates the type of person that you are attracted to, the type of person that you are attracted to sexually, romantically, and the person that you are meant to marry. However, I'm going to have to make another video dedicated to natal placements of Juno. But when you're doing a synastry reading, it's also important to evaluate what type of person that your what type of person that your partner is looking for or is attracted to and this is why contacts to Juno are very important in synastry so one of my most favorite Juno aspects are to the vertex point because the vertex point is a fated electric point in astrology the vertex or the anti-vertex. It, it, it all depends on the aspects that you have to your natal vertex to see which one is much more active when activated by a transit or a conjunction or a conjunction in synastry. Personally, my anti-vertex is more sensitive simply because my vertex is conjunct Uranus, which is square my Jupiter. And on top of it, my Uranus is conjunct my Uranus is conjunct lucky star spiker. When this point gets activated by a transit or a conjunction in synastry, it gets highly stimulated and I always know that this person is fated. So when I met my husband, I had a trans, I had an activation to my anti-vertex on the exact day that we met. 
right away I knew that this person was going to be much more than just uh, than just than just a casual relationship Juno stays about four years in a sign so it takes a long time to go around the zodiac by the activation through transits really brings about a change when Juno conjuncts something in your horoscope it signifies something it signifies that you'll probably meet somebody that is fated on top of it in our sinistry we had we had vertex conjunct anti-vertex and vertex conjunct vertex we had the opposition of the conjunctions so when Juno conjuncted this point, it activated our relationship. This conjunction happened the day we met. This is a really important aspect to evaluate in synastry. You don't see this aspect in synastry too often. You mostly see aspects to this asteroid in relationships that are fated. They have a chance to be long term or lead to marriage. I feel like this aspect indicates two people who probably agreed in a past lifetime to meet in this lifetime. And this is why when you meet as a result of a major conjunction to something like the vertex or to an angle, you're going to recognize this person. It's going to feel fated. You're going to spend part of your life with this person. The other thing I love about harmonious aspects to Juno they indicate that you're going to, they indicate that with this person, it's not going to be a challenge. You're not going to have difficulty committing to a long-term relationship. You already agreed that this is the type of person that you want a commitment, a romantic relationship, a long-term relationship, and, and most likely marriage. So if you'd like to know what context you have to Juno in your synastry, I suggest that you book a reading with me at rachel-mayo.com. If you're watching this video and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. It, it's free and it just takes a second. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way you're alerted whenever I upload a new video.